The goal of this project is to build the resilience and livelihoods of smallholder farmers, and these are both the refugees and host communities living in Kambela region. And we do this by working with smallholder farmers to increase their production, productivity, and hence income. We are also working with them to increase their production and consumption of diverse crops so that we can prevent malnutrition in Gambela region. We also do this by linking smallholder farmers to the private sector-led networks so that they can have access to inputs for their produce. We are doing this by working with the regional government of Gambela to build their capacity to be able to handle food security activities for both the refugees and smallholder farmers, host community members. Most of our farmers, almost uh, more than 85% of our farmers, their farming system is depend on, on the traditional method of farming. Because of this, what they produce is only for consumption. But after the introduction of this project, we have just tried to see our farmers, not only for consumption, but getting their product also to the market. The moisture level of our maize is 11.5. 11 this means our maize is good mm. and there is minimal risk for infection from aflatoxin and other, other moisture-related contaminants this. that can get into the maize. And what I have seen here today is really amazing, more than expected. We have just tried to see what is on the ground and it is really very amazing. Post-harvest losses is a serious obstacle to smallholder farmers. Smallholder farmers are losing about 40% of their produce through post-harvest losses. Yeah, from this we can see that weevils are already eating this maize. Do you see this? It is also a health safety risk and that's why it is important for WP to intervene, working collaboratively with the NGO and, and government and other partners to address post-harvest losses. Yazat ata kame yon nasu siltana kasat ot jamere salit nye kage nyot kadro kame kage nyot wari asramis kunta lagen chalo dikani duro haya kunta le me kage nyot nersha asramis kunta tik gami kage chalo nasu balut akayed siltana kasat basat ot amarat sarichena muneton am astaki. And we are also working with aggregators so that they can offtake produce from smallholder farmers to reduce the storage time. This is because we realized most smallholder farmers don't have proper storage facilities in their home. So, and, and so that they can sell to the market and have income, which is much easier to keep. So all this is a value added. We want to reach the level of the Ethiopian commodity standard. So one of the major components of this project is financial inclusion because our community have no culture of saving and they have no access to financial institutions, they don't get loans. So what we do is to start from informal groups that we call a village saving and loan association. We establish them, then they save their own money, they, they practice to get loan and then pay it back. And then once they are well equipped when they develop their skill then we organize them into cooperatives where they can now be formal and they can access to financial service in the bank when you put more wheel, we are going. And you got a toe, a way I can work at. Then you do more bank and pike and get there. Okay, Jabber the Jolly. They kill a jewel and you pay a regular and the theater money you don't need to enjoy yet. This project is scaling up. We are targeting more farmers within Gambella region. We want more people to benefit, and we are also increasing the value chains. The other aspect is that this is a model 
that WFP will scale up within Ethiopia because it is working. We are seeing value for money. We are seeing scale and impact. And that's where we would like to focus.